Yo, you already know what time it is, man. So, peep this. This is the goal list, but check this date out. I uploaded this video on December 2nd of last year, right? I even made this list beforehand, but I made a video about, you know, some of my goals and things like that. As you can see right over here, I had cars that I want. The very first two I put on there was the Range Rover, which we got. The wifey got that. And the Jaguar. The, it's supposed to be XJL, but I put XLJ. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the car that I got off the list. The rest of these I ain't really worried about getting because I don't want a Charger no more. I don't want a Jeep Wrangler on no more. I don't want a Mercedes no more. Or the Jaguar F-Pace. Yeah, I don't want none of that yet. No, so really you can cancel all those out. But these main two was the top two that we wanted and we got both. You feel me? Along with some other goals that I achieved. Do you feel me? I didn't went way past these and all that, man. So it's good to kind of look back and reflect on the stuff that you got and the stuff that you accomplished and it's lit. So what y'all about to see is me go get my dream car. I just want to say thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for everything. Let's get into the video. The Wealthy Empire Network. Yo, what's good, man? Today is the day. Hey, it's a beautiful day, man. I like that panoramic. But yeah, today's the day, man. I go pick up my dream car, man. I pick up my dream car. You know what I'm talking about? Got wifey the range and your boy getting the jag, man. I had dreams of this car, man. So what I want to tell y'all, look, man, I just want to tell y'all, never give up. I promise to God, man. Write your goals down. I said a million times, but you got to do it, bro. You got to do it, all right? So y'all going to... You know, take a ride with your boy. Real quick, let me, bro. So the wifey be putting it. She put this big fuzzy thing on here, man. So now your boy driving out here looking all, all crazy or whatnot. So I had to get my whip. You know what I'm saying? So I can go ahead and deck my stuff out, get my stuff right. You feel me? If I keep looking over here, it's because like I know the camera right here. So I'm trying not to look like that. But yeah, I'm going to go uh, to the bank to pick up the cashier's check right now, man. And uh, like I said, it's just been a blessing. God has been truly good. Y'all want me to tell y'all a story though? Last night, bro. Last night, I could have lost my life. Real talk. Like, uh, I uh, I was on the highway because I still had the uh, the Honda. I was in the Honda. And I was on the highway, y'all. And the whole tire and the rim, the tire and the rim popped off the car. Like, while I was on the highway. Thank God, like, I was just able to swerve to the right and, and just get on the side of the highway so nobody could hit me or nothing. But that could have been a whole lot worse, man. Right right when I was about to get my dream car, they tried to play me like that, but God had other plans, you feel me? He said, I need you here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here. No scratches, no nothing. You feel me? So, hey, that car gone. Now we just got the reins, and I'm going to pick up the Jag, man. So y'all going to, you know, go on a journey with your boy today. So that's how we rocking. So let's get it. Pulling up on Chase right now. You feel me? It's about to go down, big fella. We got to get this money. That ain't just popping up here, y'all. Popping up here. Everybody getting in. Hey, but real talk, y'all, man, I can't never act like I'm better than nobody, man. Like I said, I ain't got no hate in my heart for nobody. I love to see people win, black, white, Mexican, Asian, it don't matter. That's just the kind of person I am, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't do all that. Like, I make sure that I'm always uplifting people because you just never know what people are going through. You never know where people came from, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, y'all seen my come up happen in a year's time, like a year's time, man. So, this is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? If I can be a blessing or motivation to anybody else, bro, I'm just telling you, do not give up at what you're doing. Forex, affiliate marketing, CPA, barbershop, beauty salons, whatever you got going, keep at it. And try to figure out how you can be the best at it or, or how you can be very unique at it to where people will want to, you know, come to you versus, you know, going somewhere else. So, man, just keep going, y'all. Just keep going. Oh, I'm still waiting this line, you know what I'm saying? See what they talking about. But, yeah, I'll be back when I get the check. Let's get it. Uh, the checking. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Just like that, we out, man. Got that cashier's check, baby. Got that cashier's check, baby. About that time. 
get my whip, man. I'm excited. So, yeah, I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Yeah, just a little proof, you know what I'm saying? Cash this chick. It's your boy. I ain't gonna show y'all no amounts. Y'all don't need to see all that, but you know. Let's get it. All right, y'all. It's the next day. So, hope y'all ready to see the car. Let's get it. Favorite color, money green. Paper. I've been on my grind since I was in the seventh grade. Got my first kid, I was only 17. 17. Always a provider for my pack like Wolverines. Go, 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 go. But you won't find me on the mountaintop. Need no calculator, I could wear it cause it kinda lot. Always on my top, around that paper like a Michael Scott. Yo, friend of Dwight, Yo so man, that was a little bit of the, uh, a little bitty. A little bit of the car tour, you feel me? I'm gonna give y'all the full one right now, you feel me? So, uh, like I said, it's been a complete blessing, man. I don't want none of y'all to give up, y'all. Y'all seen what I was driving, 1999 Crown Vic. People laughed at me, you know what I'm saying? When I used to be pulling up, when I used to shoot videos, I used to be pulling up to the video shoots, they laugh, like, yo. You know what I'm saying? Even when I started Forex, people laugh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he not making money, he not doing this, he not doing that. But like I said, I ignore the hate, bro. Uh, I'm a very positive person, if y'all haven't noticed. So, uh, you know, in order to protect your energy, you just ignore the stuff. But yeah, so this is the whip, y'all. It's been a blessing. God has really done a work with this one, for real, because this is literally the dream car that I wanted. Um, same color seats and everything. Uh, double sunroof, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man, so it got a lot of features to it. Uh, you know, push to start. This, this thing right here has a lot of stuff um, on it that I don't even honestly know all the stuff it do yet. Cause you know, let me close the door. Let me close the door. It do a lot of stuff y'all that I don't even really, you know, <laughs> and know all about it just yet. Let me start it on up so we can get a little, a little run through, you know? I like this knob like, cause all you gotta do is turn it, you know, to go into, you know, reverse drive and all that but like this screen right here cool we got like a lot of uh it's like an ipad low key you know what i'm saying got cameras and all that on it we got a uh, you know all kind of stuff we got bluetooth we got internet you know web browser i can you know watch tv and stuff on it uh what else man air conditioner popping in this thing um so let me go with they got the big, you know, dual speakers over there. The air vents be blowing that good air. You feel me? Uh, like right here, it's a little secret compartment. Boom, let me show y'all that. So, you know, little business cards or something in there. Then I got this thing to open up. And you got all kind of little stuff in there. You know, I just got some stuff I dropped in there, some little hand sanitizer, that smell bomb. You feel me? All that good stuff. And then, um, like I see, I'll say y'all can see the, the double sunroof. This sunroof right here, it uh raise up. The front one do, the back ones, they, you can control everything uh, back there. On that little piece up there, you can control everything from that back piece. So pretty much the people in the back. Uh, this car is, is really luxury. So like a lot of people that want to get chauffeured can get chauffeured. They do got a... Um, you know, emergency roadside assistance, you know, button right there. If I need to be fixed, hit that button. They come out, fix your boy up. You feel me? Uh, all this control, the sunroof. And if I hit this button right here, watch that back window, y'all. Let me see if I can uh, clear it up for y'all a little bit back there. Bam! That's to block a little bit of the sun, you feel me? And if I don't want to do that, we just roll it back down. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna show you a lot of the back stuff. Like I said, it got a whole bunch of stuff in this car that I'm still learning about, uh, you know. So we're gonna go ahead and move to the back seat because I know y'all want to see the back seat, baby. I'm trying to adjust these settings, you feel me? So let's get it. Oh, uh, yeah, before I do it, they do got the Jaguar, you know, right here. It came with the, you know, Jaguar floor mats and all that good stuff. So you got that too, you feel me? So, hey y'all, another dope feature is I got the stars on the roof um, in the whip, you feel me? So when the sunroof is closed, I can put the stars up there. These is red, they could change to like blue and stuff. So that's dope, stars on the roof. So yeah, y'all, this here is the lovely back seat. It's extremely spacious, you feel me? So like I said, it got the, um, it got the, you know, charts up. The screen might be a little dirty, you feel me? But it is what it is. But yeah, I got the charts back here. Let me see if I can get this angle. I should have had my little stick or whatever, but 
I'm trying to adjust these settings right quick, B. Ugh. But yeah, so let me see if I can hold it like this here so y'all can see. But yeah, that would it look like, you know, somebody riding in the back. You see me? Let me pull my charts back up. So, like I said, we do got internet in here, all that good stuff. So, somebody ever wanna, you know, be back here trading while we cruising the streets, you feel me? We could do that. We also got the 12 inch TV on this seat. And this right here, I still gotta get somebody to hook up y'all, but uh, it's gonna come with, it come with YouTube, TV, radio, Bluetooth, everything. So it's another touch screen, kind of like an iPad, but it's like a TV. So yeah, this back seat is lit, man. Like I said, I love this. Uh, when people riding around, you know, trading, like I said, it's a lot of leg room. Like I said, it's a whole lot of leg room and I'm 6'4", y'all, and I feel super comfortable back here. So if anybody is like any taller than that, then, you know, you probably won't be comfortable. But anybody shorter than 6'4", you definitely gonna be comfortable back here. Uh, a whole bunch of, you know, space, y'all. So, right here, y'all, um, is a compartment. Comes down, you feel me? And then, they got these two little things right here. You can open that up. It could be like a little jewelry box or something, you feel me? And then this side right here, open up. You know, for your refreshments, your beverages, you know what I'm saying? All that while you cruising through the city streets. You feel? It's lit, guy. good, man, look. Then, back here, you can control the um, heat and air in the back seat by itself, so you ain't gotta worry about, you know, everybody in the front be getting their air, you ain't feeling it back there, you know what I'm saying? So, you control your own back here. Also, you got this up here, right? Um, if I hit this one, this light is on right now, you probably can't see it, but, uh, and then you can control the light back here. It looks super dope at nighttime, y'all. Uh, this right here controls the sunroof uh, for the back, the back sunroof right here. So Y'all can see it. And then the front sunroof, you can control in the front. And then also right here in the back, they got these mirrors. Right, Ugh. boom. So, you know, you can see your boy right there. You feel me? So back seat, if you need to be, you know, get checked out. They got one over here too. Boom. Bam, you feel me? Hey. I said, if you knew my story, you'll be happy for your boy too, man. Let me uh, darken this up a little bit so y'all can kind of see. All right, so right here on the side, they got another little thing right here that you can raise up and it hooks up there, but I can't really do it because I have my arm, you know what I'm saying? But it hooks up there for like to block the sun a lot more. They got that right there. Just goes right back in there. They got the same thing on the other side. If I, uh, hold on, let me see. Yes, yeah, so they got that, boom. Somebody, you know, too much sun popping. Uh, they got the manual headrest. Let me see, brighten that up a little bit. Uh, so they got the headrest that you could change like with this button. You could, you know, change the headrest like that. And then uh, these seats is super dope, y'all. To keep it 100, man, these seats is super dope. So like, uh, they massage you, they heat it. You know what I'm saying? I love this peanut butter color. I'm trying to get a full angle of the whole joint. But yeah, the uh, they peanut butter, man. Uh, like I said, the seats, they massage you. They got, um, they heat it so you can heat the seats. And in the front, you can heat the seats in the back. So these back seats that I'm in right now is heated as well. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? So it's super luxury, man. This car is so freaking dope. It's literally everything I wanted in my life, y'all. So I'm about to be back here trading, you feel me? I know my screen dirty, so don't be talking about me. <laughs> I know the screen dirty, but yeah, it's literally, man, everything I ever wanted uh, in a whip, man. And I am just extremely happy and blessed that I'm able to even be here. So I'm gonna go to the front, we gonna talk. Yo, so, you know, we in the whip, man. Um, I think I might wanna brighten that up in the back a little bit. Go ahead and open both of them back up. You feel me? There we go. All right, y'all, so look, man. Um, this right here, like I said, it ain't to stunt at all. Like I said, if you knew my story, you would be happy for your boy too, man. I've been through a lot of stuff in my life, uh, a whole lot. You feel me? And just to be at this point, God, man, it's just insane. Like for people now to ask me, like when I went and bought this car, uh, you know, shout outs to, uh, I think his name is Zach. Shout outs to Zach that sold me the car, man. He was like, yo, what do you do? 
And just for people to ask me that, man, at this point in my life is just freaking crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's really crazy. Like all this stuff is just unbelievable. But but God, you know, he got his way of doing this thing, man. Shout outs to God, Jesus Christ. You feel me? Because I would not be here without him. And somebody hit me and was like, yo, why you always giving Jesus so much credit, man? You did that. I'm like, nah, bro, I didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, God did all this, bro. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even be able to wake up, you know, had, had it not been for him. So I don't take no credit at all for this because I know why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I know why I'm here is to inspire and to lead people back to him. That's the only reason why I'm even succeeding how I am. You know what I'm saying? But um, the wood grain on the car, dope. The wood grain on the steering wheel, the wood grain all the way around. Uh, peanut butter seats, man. It's super luxury, man. People be going nuts when they see this thing. Uh, especially, you know, a lot of people who knew me and they know, they seen me driving around in my raggedy car for years, man. Even when I had a little money, I was still driving it, being humble. Uh, and I was like, you know, it's just time to treat myself this time. So uh, that's why I was like, you know what? I had that on the vision board for a long time. I said, you know what, now that we got it, you know, I delayed gratification long enough, went out and I got it, and um, blessed, you know what I'm saying, blessed. This car is a beast, too, on the road, man. It's long, like, I got the, it's the, X, uh, the XJL uh, portfolio version. So, it's the long body, long luxury body. Uh, man, I feel like you're a superstar in this morning, I ain't gonna lie to you, but uh, it's lit. Like I said, I'm blessed. Like, I don't... I'm not uh, the type of person that's gonna be flashing this in people's face or nothing. Like, it's just strictly motivation. It's strictly just something that I wanted to do for myself because I'm the type of person, I don't do much for myself, you know what I'm saying? I don't buy myself a lot of clothes all the time. You know what I'm saying? I don't do a lot of that stuff. So just to be doing this is amazing, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just want y'all to keep pushing, bro. With Forex. And another thing, a lot of people want me to clear up, like, Somebody asked me, do I make all my money with Forex? Absolutely not. And I said that a million times. For those of you who knew, who don't follow me, um, I do not make all my money with Forex. I have multiple streams of income. I always preach multiple streams of income. There's no point in limiting yourself to one stream. You feel me? Don't limit yourself to one stream. Nobody should do that. The average millionaire has seven streams of income. So you need multiple things going on uh, to sustain the income that you have. We all know Forex is super risky. Uh, you know, at times you may have good weeks and bad weeks. And if you have a bad week and you don't have, you know, nothing else, you know, set up to, that's going to pay you money, then you're, you're out of luck. You know what I'm saying? So I always make sure I'm doing affiliate marketing. I'm doing CPA marketing. I'm doing coaching. I sell a course, uh, you know, multiple courses from when I do, you know, uh, certain things. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I hate when people try to make it seem like just because you sell a course, you're not a real trader. Uh, that's actually really stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really stupid, but multiple streams, bro. Like, I would I would preach multiple streams to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Get that bag, man. I ain't gonna hate. Like I said, you'll never see me hate on another man. Like, I don't watch nobody's pockets, period. I'm too busy trying to focus on my family. I got four kids and a wife. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make sure they good. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I focus on every day. Um, that's just what it is, man. I just... I hope and pray that y'all really like take heed to the stuff that I do teach for free. You know, uh, just, you know, keep doing it. You know what I mean? Like if I would have gave up years ago when I was broke, you know what I mean? Like I would have never got to this point. I didn't stop. I was like nonstop grinding, like nonstop. And I still, I'm still going, you know what I'm saying? Like all the goals that we wrote down, we didn't, we didn't hit them for the most part. You know what I'm saying? And we just write new ones down every day. And uh, the next the next thing from here is going to be that good old, you know, forever home. So the big, the big forever home. But I don't know when that, that might be like next year. Uh, we're going to just stack, you know, stack it up, baby. Stack that bread, man, and get ready for the next goal, the next dream. Uh, hopefully once this, you know, coronavirus stuff is over, we can uh, link up. You know, I would love to meet some of y'all. I would love to do seminars at your churches. I would love to do, you know, presentations and all that kind of stuff, man to really just be hands-on with y'all, um, like, in the future. Uh, it's a lot of stuff that I'm taking away um, right now to protect my peace as a person because, you know, this online game is nuts. And Forex is literally the only industry, y'all, uh, that, I've, that I've had so much hate in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Forex industry is just insane. It's like nobody wants to see nobody win. Like, everybody's putting everybody down. I just don't understand it. I really don't. Like, I just be like, bro... It, Everybody just need to focus on their own bag. You know what I'm saying? But that's just neither here nor there. But um, I will always tell y'all, man, document where y'all are right now. Document it. Uh, write it down. 
you know, take pictures of how you are. Even if, you know, you're living in the hood, even if you in a bad situation, you got a not, your car is nice, document all of it. Make small videos and just hold them in the archive, like hold them on your computer. And as you start to come up, start pulling those old videos out and showing people because, you know, uh, you know, facts tell, stories sell, man. People will buy into your story. They will buy into you. Like I said, people don't join the business. They join you as a person. So um, no matter what you're doing, like document that stuff because people can relate to it and they want to know that they're not alone uh, in their situation. That's why I'm so transparent. Like people make fun of it sometimes that, you know, I showed the old car or that I did this and that. But like that's really helping people. You know, be, that's really being authentic. You know, most people on here come on here and they fake. They, 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 you know, they got the Lamborghinis and they got all this stuff out the gate, and then they don't really show you how you know their progression in life. And like I said, I, I was an open book, man. I'm showing y'all everything. Y'all didn't see me. A lot of y'all see me come up from nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of y'all know that. So that's why y'all appreciate it and y'all respect it more uh, versus somebody else. And that's just real. But like all this has been a straight blessing to me, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. My kids are in the house happy. You know, they love the car. They 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 having a good time. They want to ride in all time. The kids really want to be in the back on the laptop and on, the, uh, you know, the other thing. So that's kind of, you know, the kind of stuff you'll be able to do, man, um, whenever you get to that level in life, like whether it's Forex or something else. But like I said, I always use Forex as a vehicle. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I never came in the game. Um trying to make trying to become a forex millionaire you know what i'm saying i never came in the game trying to be a forex millionaire and i'm not a forex millionaire i'm a millionaire but i'm not a forex millionaire you know what i'm saying i use forex as an extra stream of income you know what i'm saying that's what that's what it is and it's like that's what you should use it for like i didn't come in the game wanting to do four or five hundred thousand dollars um and like i said for those people who can do that shout outs to q banks you know what I'm saying? He's the beast, man. If y'all know who Q Banks is, shout outs to Q Banks, man. But uh, people like that, they can come in the game. He's been doing it for years, though, and he did 400000 You know what I'm saying? And I'll, I think it was a day, maybe two days or whatever, trading at US 30. You feel me? Shout outs to people. Man, I, I love getting shout outs to people who kill in the game. Uh, but I, like I said, I never came in the game with those intentions. You know what I'm saying? My my whole intention was, okay, my bills are 2500 let me see if I can make, you know, 3000 with Forex and that'll take care of the bills. And then the other things that I got going on, you know, that'll I'll, I'll have I have extra money everywhere. That was just my whole goal. That's still my whole goal. You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, I can put 50000 in the Forex account and run it up. But that's not my mission. You know what I'm saying? That's not my goal. That's why I don't trade with, you know, uh, 40, 50, 60000 dollars. That, that's just not my goal. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm on a whole nother level. I'm getting, I'm using my money in real estate. Like, uh, me and my wife are getting ready to get our, you know, first couple of real estate properties. That's the kind of stuff that I'm on. Like as far as generational wealth and things like that. So Forex is just a vehicle. You know what I'm saying? I know how to do it. And that's why I get on here and teach it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, man, it's all about, you know, writing them goals down y'all staying positive, you know, thinking bigger than your situation, man. Like, you can't let where you at right now dictate where you going to be. You feel me? You just got to keep uh, continue to believe, man. It's just so crazy that this whip is exactly how I wanted it. Like, I'm talking about to the seats. Like, when I looked up a YouTube video and I saw the, the Jaguar with this exact color, I said, man, I want that color. You know what I'm saying? And just so happened when I checked it out, they had to get this car shipped from Atlanta. And when I went to go get it, uh, when I went to go pick it up, you know, people at the dealership was like, yo, you know, this was the nicest car in the lot. I was wondering whose car it was. And I'm thinking like, dang, this is crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is wild. And it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. So I want to get right, in the comment section because I'm thinking about I love I love this blue color. I love this blue, the navy blue. I was thinking about wrapping this in cherry red like the wife's Range Rover and then throwing the rent the, like the 22s on there. But let me know if y'all think I should keep it blue or if y'all think I should wrap it in red. So if y'all think I should keep it blue, comment below if y'all think I should wrap it in red like the wife's car, let me know. You feel me? Because I might make a video on that when I do it. But yeah, man, um, it's been a blessing to buy a car cash. Like I said, uh, my whole life, and I prayed about this my whole life, I never, all my cars was old, <laughs> but I always paid cash for them. So like when I used to go on Craigslist, I used to be paying like $2,500. The, to three thousand dollars for a car but i pay cash and I, I never wanted to finance a car 
And I believe the Lord do not want us to be in debt. So with us paying off debt this year, it was like dope to be able to buy the range cash and the jack cash. Like it was a blessing. And I was like, Lord, I, I appreciate you because I never had to pay a finance a car. Not that there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just, I didn't want to have that over my head. You know what I'm saying? Paying somebody every month. So I'm like, yo, to just be able to have it outright, it's lit. It's a blessing. You know what I mean? And um, man, I, I, I know for a fact y'all going to eat, man. The people who never stop and the people who keep going, y'all going to win, bro. It might seem hard now. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, like, some of y'all may be thinking way too big for Forex. Like, some of y'all may, like, Forex may just be a vehicle to get you somewhere else. Forex may just be that vehicle to get you to real estate, to be able to fund something else. Like, it may not be your full-time gig. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not my full-time thing. You know what I'm saying? I just know how to do it. And whenever I need the bread, I know how to make it. I know how to make money out of thin air like that. I know how to throw 500 in the account and turn it into 2,000. You know what I'm saying? Or 5,000. I know how to, you know, do 300 in the account and turn it to 2,000 if I just need the bread. You know what I'm saying? So that's a skill that I know how to do. And like that just may be what it is for you. It may not be, you know, you becoming a millionaire off Forex. That is just a vehicle. Maybe you good at music. Maybe Forex is going to help you fund your music career. You know what I'm saying? You dope at rapping and singing. You produce. You know, maybe that's just Forex is going to help you buy the equipment that you need. You know what I'm saying? It may help you buy, you know, put a, put a down payment on the house. You know what I'm saying? All that kind of stuff. Like, you know, the statistics show that like 99 or 96, I mean, like 96% of Forex traders lose, right? But they lose because they're trying to get rich. My goal was never to get rich. I wasn't trying to get rich with Forex. That's why I know I'm good. I know when to get out. I know, okay, I made 5,000 here. I'm gonna take my 5,000 and go put it in something else. I might run an ad for another company that I got and I may make money off of that. So it's it just a vehicle to, to put money everywhere. That's that's how I use it, man. I feel like that's how y'all should use it too. So it's lit, man. I love y'all to death, man. I promise y'all, man. I know it's a lot of y'all to be hitting me up on Instagram and y'all be telling me y'all stories, man. I feel you, bro. Just, you just stick with it. You know what I'm saying? Stick with something, bro, and just never give up. Think about how, uh, you know, how you can become more creative, you know, how you can stand out amongst most people. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I came in the game of Forex, the reason why my channel grew so fast, first and foremost, because I talked about Jesus. A lot of Forex traders don't talk about Jesus. They probably don't even believe in him, you know what I'm saying? But that was just my faith, and I stuck by that. Then I was talking about, you know, uh, you know, I show, I show. I, what was different about me is that I showed my beginning struggles. I showed the raggedy car, you know what I'm saying? I showed the apartments and all that, like where I was at. I wasn't trying to fake and pretend like I was already big and blown up. That what was different about me. So what's different about you? You know how you, you may, and I came in the game a little funny. It was I added a little more entertainment to forex than what it was. And that's why my channel blew up. So what's different about you? You know what I'm saying? That the game might need. Everybody needs it. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't. It might not be for it. Like I said, it might be doing hair. It may be rapping. It may be something. But just be different. Be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Is what it is. Because everybody's unique. So that's what it is, bro. But, oh, man. That's my spill, man. I love y'all, bro. I promise you. Mm, mm, mm. This is a dream come true. Real talk. But, man, yeah. I'm going to pull up on some people. You feel me? Uh, so... I'm about to get up out of here, man. Uh, but I probably go get the white sunny. Eat, you feel? And uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all in another video. I'm about to drop some vids, man. Got a lot of stuff coming for y'all. Some merch, definitely. I'm designing some merch too. Uh, all that, man. So we're gonna kick it. We're gonna get lit. You feel me? But other than that, man, um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Peace.